Hey everyone, it's your homie, Dub Pace, and this is my second ever streamer quick tip. In this tip, I'm going to be talking about emojis and how to use them more efficiently and effectively uh, to be a better streamer and content creator. In my opinion, one of the most underutilized applications of emojis as a streamer is actually in your title on Twitch. To prove a point, I'm going to go to, let's say, one of the most popular and oversaturated browse directories on Twitch. We'll go to the Fortnite directory. As you guys know, um, these channels are sorted from the most viewers to least amount of viewers. And as I'm scrolling through, take a look and see how many emojis you see in the title. Here's one here. So that's one, two. There's a toilet on this one. That's pretty good. Three, four. But that's out of maybe 40 um, different content creators that we just looked at at the very top of Twitch. And for contrast, I wanted to scroll through some of my past broadcasts ju just to show you that I definitely practice what I preach. I love to use these emojis to help differentiate myself um, from a potential viewer's first point of contact with me from the browse page. This is something that helps me stand out on Twitch. So let's say that you do want to be using emojis in your Twitch title. I hopped over to my dashboard here and you'll notice that in the title section of the Twitch dashboard, there's no uh, button to click to pull up an emoji list. So if you keep watching, I'll show you the most efficient way that I have found to put in emojis into your titles. Another practical, but maybe a little bit more obvious application of using emojis to enhance your streamer experience is to conserve space when you are drafting a Twitter post that is packed full of information. To illustrate this point, I wrote out a completely gobbledygook post that I just completely made up, but you'll see that we're actually currently 16 characters over the final word count. If we change some of these keywords to emojis, you'll notice that we slowly start to make a dent and we're able to not only convey a different tone through our message, but also pack in more information um, into that 280 character limit. So we started this video with a couple ideas on how you could be using emojis in a different way than you already are. But the next question is, how do you use them efficiently? And I cannot wait to point you guys to this website. I always have a tab pulled up. It's called Emojipedia.org. Emojipedia lets you find, uh, categorize, and discover emojis that you can use super easily on your PC. So let's say, for example, I want to post about the cold day that we're having today but I don't know what, what emoji I want to use right now. So I just search cold and it gives us a myriad of different options. The snowboarder, if you feel an adventurous, the snowflake is a great one. Snowman, cloud with snow. This is a great way to start your journey. And best of all, after you select one of these emojis, you can easily copy it by literally just pressing a button. You don't need to highlight it and copy it, which can be a mess. You just press a button and it's copied. And it also shows you how each different device will load this particular emoji. A great example of why it's very important to know how each emoji is going to render on different devices is the pistol emoji. I used to use this when I was playing a shooter game on Twitch, but recently uh, most devices have changed the pistol to be a water pistol but some other devices still have it older as sort of the weapon type of pistol as well. And this sort of disconnect means you might not be conveying the correct thing to your audience. So it's important to check. All right, now we're going to learn exactly how to use Emojipedia in conjunction with Twitch to get those epic, flashy, poppy titles by using emojis. The title that I currently have in is uh, the last one that I used when I was streaming the beginning of season seven. I'm going to take out all of the emojis and let's just take a look. It doesn't really look captivating at all. So then for the, let's recreate it and I'll show you how quickly you can do it. 
top 200 PC solos. This had the globe with the meridians on it. So I just search globe, click globe with meridians, click copy, go back over, paste it in with control V. Season seven, I had the uh, snowflake. You can just search snowflake. Snowflake comes right up. You click copy, go back to dashboard, copy and pasta that in. I uh, had the exclamation point sliver for my Nightbot command. Um, sliver is all about winning and giveaways. So I like to put the wrapped gift in there to show that you could win something and you don't know what it is. You put that in, then update information, and it's done. Took maybe 15 seconds to make your title look 100 times better. I hope this video gave you some food for thought about um, how you can use emojis easily by using Emojipedia. And in addition to some of the applications that I showed you of how I use emojis to try to bump up my streamer game, Maybe you guys have some ideas too. If you do, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to do something new. I'm not going to ask everyone to subscribe, but uh, I will ask you if you can think of one person that you think, truly think that this video would be useful for, share this video with them, see what they think. And uh, thank you so much for all of your support, guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time.